So I did lose the last episode, so I am back at the port, it got a brand new cutter, I don't know, maybe, oh, I just lost one point of durability. Ooh, I actually got a pretty nice cutter for a starting class. Uh, fine means that it's a uh, pretty good quality. And I also uh, did a, some research and I did find out how to take uh, ships. Uh, reason why my grape shots won't uh, be in very effective uh, because I was basically sh firing into armor. So yeah, kind of like beforehand where I had to destroy the armor to start uh, having some more effective battles uh, and do more damage to the enemy. I too have to break the armor uh, to actually uh, have grape shots be more effective. And I'm trying to get to these things right here. Uh, And I know they're on the other side of the island, so I need to head up this way to the north. And I should see them pretty soon. So this is one thing. It, you're going to have to learn uh, the islands very well. I'm hoping I'm going the right way because that kind of looks like... It's more this way, but I'm going north, and this is north. So it shouldn't be that. But yeah, until I learn the islands and that stuff, I'm going to be bumbling around for a bit. Uh, I don't know. May I might cut out these things because, you know, it's just having me sail around yapping as I look for something to do. What? Might be a bit boring. But then again, you might want to see the exploring aspect of this game and not just the battles. So I'm showing off the exploring uh, aspect. So yeah, uh, I'll good thing about watching someone like me explore oops oops no that's not what I wanted uh, I will actually show off uh, like uh, the things you don't want to do and what I mean by things you don't want to do is like sell into the south shallows but also uh, show around the map enough that if you start off in this uh, pirate area you will have a good idea of where to go uh, I mean, eventually, I'm going to get this pretty well memorized and be like, oh, I know where to go, and I'll be able to just sell there directly while you guys watch, and I'll have a little bit of yapping, but, you know, it's more that I'm just going to get straight into the combat real fast because I know where the mission is at, and I know what to do, and... get rid of this yeah that's a freight freighter I won't be able to take that thing on <laughs> I really wish there was a way to get rid of this we'll just stick it right up here I did in like when last battle uh, somehow get to throw it up there and make it disappear temporarily something like that I don't think I can anymore so I think I need to start yeah there it is well, that's just a regular event it looks like And yeah, there are all these neutral events around here that you can go and do. 
Um, so there's uh, just attacking ships out in the open sea, but if you want a more of a solo type build, uh, play style, uh, not play style, but a solo type mission things, these things will allow you to do that. Uh, you do have to be aware that uh, depending on your ranking and that stuff will determine what type of ships you come across. Uh, you can go against a, a 2v1 or even a 3v1, uh, but, you know, if you're going into those, you probably want a challenge, and you probably don't want to share the loot if you do get any. Um, I'm going to try to capture the next ship we get into a battle with, because now that I know how to effectively use grape shots, I think I can do it more often. And I love this, teleport to capital. So if I get lost out here and I have no idea where I'm going, I can always do that. Of course, uh, my goal is uh, grab this one or this one. They're both uh, um, thief rankings, and of course I'm a thief rank. I don't see any buttons to actually do that, but alright. And there's some land over there and there, so... Might be getting closer to that over there. Because I'm trying to take a judgment call from uh, going north, and of course that's north. So the only thing I could think of would be this island right here. Just that, that's the case. If I'm going over that direction. I might want to go and search a little to the southeast. And I think that's the Admiral one I saw earlier. And see if I can, because I'm thinking I might have actually, s oh, it could be right here. This thing right here. Which if that's the case, I've definitely passed both of them. That's the Admiralty uh, Orders. And since it doesn't have a reward, I'm not going to do it. Uh, you'll be able to see the reward and see if it's your quest. And I have no idea if that's my quest or if that's just a random event or what's going to happen if I jump into there. I mean, I got lucky the... F uh, well, I guess I, you wouldn't say I got lucky. I lost. I jumped into one of the, these events in my second video, and that ended up with me losing. And then again, you probably can say, well, you lost the, the, two, the battle before that one, too. You just retreated instead of sinking. Yeah, yeah, okay. So I did retreat before I sunk. So this video, I think this video, I'll just make it, uh, okay, Sailing on the Snow, that's a player as well. I think I'm just going to make this a Sailing Around video and end it when I get into some combat. That way people can absolutely skip this video if they don't want to watch the selling aspect of the game. Hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm noticing that uh, they, in the uh, tutorial video uh, I watched, wasn't something the developers made, it was something a player made. They were talking about the wind being non-dynamic and it just slowly goes around in a circle. I'm kind of seeing that because it was going north, then it went northwest, and as you can just see right there, it moved as I was talking about it. 
So yeah, the wind is not dynamic. It's just going to slowly move around. Which, like I said, this is an early access game. Oh, what's that? Oh, that's still the Admiral event. And if you don't want that, uh, if uh, you want to wait to pick this up uh, for launch, yeah, do that. Me, I thought this looked really good, and it's really fun. Oh, wow, this is fun. It's like, why are uh, Blood and Gold Caribbeans might be more arcade -ic? Oh, Oh, not arcade -ic, but, you know, it's an arcade-style gameplay. This is more of a, I don't want to say pro style of gameplay because, well, <laughs> that would uh, kind of just deter people from buying it. But I want to say it's, oh, what is it? Skill, skill base. Eh? Because, you know, like uh, you've seen in the vi uh, other two videos, the cannons are skill shots, basically. Oh, oh, where are my events? I really wish I had a, uh, what's it called? Uh, a spyglass. Uh, so I could see further. I also wish it was not nighttime because I can't see Jack. I mean, look, that's like it. Literally all I can see is that slight horizon. still see the land. Alright, so I'm going to end up probably going back to uh, uh, the um, uh, capital for pirates and then head over to this one because, well, I'll search for these two off camera if, I don't know. Maybe people want to see me searching for them. Maybe they don't. Uh, what is this? Nope. As well as these little random events keep popping up. And I can't tell if that's uh, the event. Or if that's uh, my mission. My mission or just random events I should say. mic around and you kind of want to do those uh, little uh, quests you get from the ports because uh, they're bonus XP and bonus gold so whatever I get for winning on this next battle uh, the bonus uh, money I get won't show up Even though it's daylight, it still seems to be very foggy. Is that the town? Oh no, it's still... It's still night. I don't know why there's sunlight at 2 in the morning. 3 in the morning, almost. That's a little odd, but okay. But yeah, I can't wait till they, they get more aspects of the game in, like a, a thunderstorm would cause really big waves in the ocean battles. Think how awesome that will be, where you actually would have to worry about water flooding your ship just from the waves of the storm. There's many great ways they can design, uh, they can add to this game. 
and I look forward to them all because already I see this game being a really good game and it would be a disaster if it, this game goes straight under many people's radars. I'm really hoping it does not because it is fun. Oh my gosh, I recommend you guys play this. And the selling aspect I hear right now, uh, it's pretty relaxing. Okay, so yeah, this is the city area because I've just entered the protection area. So yeah, here I can show off, it shows off what I have, what's in my hold, what's my upgrades. Uh, so yeah, my next, if I do succeed in the mission, uh, whatever the mission uh, XP is uh, for finishing that, add 50 to that, and whatever gold I get out of uh, succeeding, add 2,000 to that. Because I'm doing a quest. So the game gives you a pretty good amount of reward for just uh, completing the mission, just for killing uh, your enemies on there as it is. Or, you know, not kill, killing them and failing because, well, that's kind of nice. It, I think this is probably the first MMO I've seen where the game is like, Oh, you didn't kill the mob? The mob killed you? Well, here's some XP for you anyway. Usually MMOs don't really do that. You get nothing but a repair bill for, killing, for, a, mob kill, for a mob killing you. Selling a trader's brig. I don't know what the difference between traders and uh, normal ships, because they have many very t uh, many styles of the same class. There's like as you saw the trader's brig, but then there's a, a normal brig, and it's like does the trader's brig have less guns? No guns? What does it? What's the difference? And I did find out that when you craft, there's actually a level in the crafting system as well. So you can spend all your time and energy just be a crafter in this game. So if you just want to sell back and forth, uh, selling uh, loot, or well, not loot, but like uh, materials, raw materials from one port to another and making your money that way, you can do that. You can be a pure merchant. Like, uh, when I just passed, and that guy was in a trade ship. Maybe that, he's a pure merchant, who knows? Oh, and is that it? I think that's it. Alright, nope. I could jump into that battle, but I don't want to. So I'm trying to find my mission. Well, okay, so that looks like that's probably this right here. So my mission should be somewhere around here. keep getting a slight buzzing sound. Hope that's not my mic. Like, it better not be my mic. Okay, I'm gonna investigate this because this looks like the area my quest should be at. But then again, it could have been back there where that guy was fighting. Oh, it is my mission. Okay. So that is the missions. Well, it's a good thing I investigated. Alright, so that will be it for this episode. See you guys next time.